Home or business surveillance cameras are keeping you safe. But what if someone else gets into the system? A live stream of your most personal spaces could end up online for the entire world to see. NBC6 reporter Laura Rodriguez has the details all new tonight. They're installed at homes, businesses, parks, and malls. Surveillance cameras are everywhere. The vast majority of the people have no idea that, that the inside of their homes and businesses are being broadcast all over the internet. Here's a family caught on camera walking in through their front door. And somewhere in Miami, a boardroom meeting in progress. Thousands of live surveillance cameras posted for the world to see on multiple apps and websites. They're just capturing unsecured video streams. So the software to do it is readily available. It's free. Dr. Salchuk Luach leads the Cyber Physical Systems Security Lab at Florida International University. He says creators of these voyeur-like websites use robot programs to search the web for unsecure IP addresses linked to devices such as cameras. Most of the users basically don't change their passwords. Uh, these devices have default passwords. To find out if the cameras are active and in real time, we put them to the test. Inside the lobby of this Miami area business, the cameras are in plain view. But the question is, who is watching and why? It's unbelievable because um, this is something that is uh, some cameras that are, are used pretty much for the use of the, of the business. It's not for the use of uh, anybody external. This South Florida business owner was shocked to learn his cameras were on one of the websites. He's already contacted an IT expert to change the password on his surveillance system. If you, if you put it out there for them and you make it easy for them, then they're going to go after the lowest hanging fruit. And if that's what you're putting out there, that's what they're going to grab. Other security measures you can take to avoid being a victim include creating a strong password, firewall protection, and firmware updates. We need more usable security research. We need systems that can be easily understood by the people. This problem is going to get worse because we have Internet of Things devices, cyber physical systems, uh, we have sensors. Do they want to be secure or do they want to have convenience? It's going to be very difficult to have both and balance that. Reporting in Miami, Laura Rodriguez, NBC6 News.